Hi guys. We're going to start drawing our 3D pumpkin pie. You can do this together with me right now. Or also I have created this 3D pumpkin slice of pie here worksheet that you can take a peek at and Schoology. It's really helpful and tells you step by step, but we're going to go through these steps right now together so you can see how to take a flat looking shape and turn it into a three dimensional looking form. We've done this before. We talked about how to make things three dimensional. Two dimensional is something that is flat, that it has a height and the length, but you're adding the dimension of depth to it when it has 3D. So it looks like it can pop out at you. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and do this in a marker so you can see it, but you definitely wanna do this in pencil. There is some erasing involved. So to start off, I'm gonna have you give me a diagonal line. So here's the middle of our page. Here's the center. Give me a diagonal line and we're going to make almost a slice of pizza or an arrow. So we've got a triangle in essence, right? Here's our short side. Here's the longest side. Here's another one. Notice the angle. So here's our straight line at the bottom of the page. Notice the bottom of the page is a straight line. If I bring that straight line up, this is slightly going downward, okay? So see that it's slightly going downward? That's gonna be the top of our pie. The next thing we're gonna do is we wanna round off the back because a pie is circular. So we wanna show the back of our pie being slightly circular. So I'm gonna curve this a little bit. Now, if I had an eraser or if I was doing this with pencil, I would get rid of this part right here. So I'd be left with this nice curvy piece. Next, I'm going to bring the end of my triangle down on one side on the left and then down again on the right. This is going to be the 3D thickness. This is going to make it start to look like it's three-dimensional. Let's close off the bottom of our pie piece. And now we've got a nice little wedge of cheesecake or maybe a slice of cheese even. If I could put some holes in this, it would look like a nice chunk of Swiss cheese. But we're not going for that today. We're gonna to go ahead and add some crust to this. So this is going to be our pie. Let's add some crust to the bottom. And I can just wrap it around a little bit like that. And before I go ahead and do the back crust, I'm gonna put a little dollop of whipped cream on it. Again, this is something that we definitely wanna do in pencil because some of these lines are gonna eventually be erased. But I'm gonna put a little plop of whipped cream right here. How do we get this to look whipped creamy? Maybe plop like that, plop, something like that. And again, it's super difficult to see because of all this stuff, I would normally erase that. Then, Last but not least, we'll do the back part of our crust. And then if you've ever seen a piece of pie, you'll notice that it's got, depending on the design of the crust, it's got this sort of crusty curviness going right here. And there you have it, that is your slice of pie. But we don't wanna serve it to you on a table, we wanna serve it to you on a plate. So here's the tough part, we're gonna try and make an oval around here for the base of the plate. Definitely do this in pencil. I'll tell you right now, I'm probably gonna mess up, even though I'm a professional, because this is pretty hard to do. I'm gonna go ahead and make an oval for my plate. And, 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 not bad. Maybe make a little edge of my plate like this. That's okay, that'll work. Next, we're gonna work on the coloring of this. We're gonna be using some oil pastels or some crayons, and we're gonna mix some colors together. Actually, chalk pastels will look real, really well with this too. Um, next time I see you, have prepared some oil pastels, some chalk pastels, or some crayons, and we're gonna color this in. I'm gonna redo this with pencil because these black lines are just way too much, and we don't wanna have an outlined picture. If a picture is outlined, it doesn't really look realistic. So we're gonna get rid of these outlines, and we're gonna color it in very subtly and beautifully, and I will see you next time for part two. See you in a little bit.